All right, today has not been a good day to try to get this done. After I flipped the cords, I realized that I had the wrong arm. So this is how you tell which arm it is. And for some reason, I had them switched. And so I'd switch the cords. And then after I switched the cords, I realized in yet another video that the arms were wrong. So I was like looking, retesting, making sure I didn't mess up the functionality. And I just don't feel well. I'll tell you that right here and now. I just am not feeling that well today. Knock on wood that it's just, you know, it's nothing to worry about. Okay, so 55, the speaker mount. You'll get to see the information um, I have two videos. I don't even know if I'm going to show those videos or not. I, I guess I'll show the one video, but basically I had the arms reversed. And if I had just realized that when I was doing the first video, then I could have corrected it and got it done. So I do have this together. What I did was just put the cable back on the correct arm. So now I'm going to try, now that I have the cable on the correct arm, I'm going to try to, it should be able to, oh, I don't have the cable on the correct arm. My goodness. Oh. Okay. Did I forget to put the cable on it or? No, I've got the cable. What am I talking about? Oh, it came out. That's what happened. It came out of the hole. Can I get it back through the hole without having to undo it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Thankfully, at least one thing went okay today. So all we're doing is trying to do the last bit where we put it through the, remove the slack and fit the speaker to the panel. That's all I'm trying to do now. Like I said, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling great by any means. So, I took my temperature and it's low, not high. So at least, at least it's not, um, at least it's not high. So that's, that's a good thing. So there we go. Finally, it wasn't even a difficult stage. It's just me not being with it, you know, happens. I, I just... Last week, I didn't feel well because I came back from my grandmother's funeral from Iowa, and we spent 17 hours on the road, so Sunday, I didn't feel like doing the Roby video. Felt like I had to do one this Sunday because I don't, I want to get him done before uh, December 25th, and yet, you know, I wasn't feeling well and probably not an ideal thing to happen. I do want to test the arm and make sure it's working. So we'll have a slightly longer video because I'm just gonna test the arm. I did test it before. Um, I tested it before uh, when I redid it, uh, moved the cables around, which I spent a lot of time off camera doing. Um, put this over here. So here's the CPU board. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the as far as I'm aware, the left one goes into the this one here, two over from the from the right. So we're just gonna put this in and make sure it's still working right. Now I will say that um, uh, I didn't put a pad on this because it's not possible to get it on the test board and put a pad. Um, so hopefully we can get it in there. And I'm actually amazed that the battery has lasted this long, um, because I haven't charged this battery for some time. We're talking months and months. So, and yet it's continued to work. Come on. Please don't tell me it's not going to work.
So now I probably did something. So I'm going to have to undo it yet again and see what the heck I did. Uh, so it's definitely not working now. Unless I've got it in the wrong one. I thought it was that one, unless it goes in this one. But this is the left arm, not the right arm. So. All right, well, at least regardless of that, this part is set up properly. I can easily remove the um, cable. This part, at least I've got the correct arm now. This is the left arm. So have a good day. Hopefully I don't have to keep removing this and re-adding it. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Hopefully you're feeling well and stay safe.